might have actually come to see Sarah Palin also. <laughs> like Sarah Palin, I too am a conservative woman, mother of five, and I also have a really hot husband. <laughs> And while we don't have many hockey moms in the South, I have been a soccer mom, a drama mom, a basketball mom, a band mom, a homeroom mom, the list goes on and on. And we all know that moms have that special gift that enables us to get more done in a day, and we can get things done in spite of the media caring about our wardrobe and our accomplishments. Sarah Palin and I share is a strong desire to keep our family strong. And the way that we do that is not to make government bigger and for them to take our family's hard-earned money and to spread that wealth. As your, as your state representative, I will work hard to keep the taxes low, require efficiency in our government, keep our education system accountable while providing choices for our parents, making sure our families are safe when they're at home, and school, work, and on the internet. And while I'm committed to fighting for you in Tallahassee, we all know that the direction of this country will largely be decided by one race next Tuesday. We have a clear choice, proven leadership versus questionable judgment. are an experienced team who can lead us through this critical time in our country. Sarah Palin has proven executive experience both as a mayor and as the governor of Alaska. She cleaned up corruption, ran the National Guard, cut the budget, and gave tax rebates to all citizens. She is a shining example that moms know how to multitask and we get things done. Bacon, we can fry it up in a pan, and when it's necessary, we cut the fat. John McCain and Sarah Palin will cut the fat in Washington. They will keep our taxes low, and they will make sure that government works for us and not the other way around. John McCain definitely has the experience necessary to be our next president, but just as important as that. He has shown us that he has the judgment required to be a good president. John McCain, John McCain has the wise judgment not to stay in a church that preaches against America. judgment by palling around with terrorists like William Ayer. <laughs> McCain was not the community organizer with a group like Acorn that's been a uh, has been accused of promoting voter fraud. <laughs> John McCain sir, served our country as a prisoner of war and has proven himself in his years of service in the United States Congress. <laughs> proven that he will listen to wise counsel, and as the Bible says in Proverbs 13, 20, he who walks with wise grows wise, but a companion of fools suffers harm. <laughs> Barack Obama does not have the experience we need to lead our country, and it's... same job for four consecutive years. He has, he, has, he, he has surrounded himself with Christian people for years. We can't allow him the opportunity to suffer harm in our country by continuing this pattern when he's in the Oval Office. There is no telling who he will choose to help him operate our government or who he will appoint to our courts. And that that is why it is so important that you get out the vote 
So take your friends, family, and neighbors with you to early vote today or go to the polls on Tuesday. And if you vote by mail and you haven't mailed in your ballot, drive it to Barjo on Monday. Don't wait till Tuesday. And by the way, don't let anyone take your ballot and fill it out for you, as we have heard some phone solicitors have offered to do. You make sure that you fill out your own ballot. And when you cast that ballot, make sure you vote for me, Kelly Stargell, Congressman. Vote for Congressman Adam Putnam. Vote yes on Amendment 2 to protect the And make sure you get out and vote for John McCain and Sarah Palin.